So yeah, on the other bike, I'd be already like teleported to uh, places far away. On this bike, you gotta work for it. I love it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another vloggy vlog. And that's right. I'm on my old and trusty, well, I don't know if trusty is uh, the proper word for it. <clears throat> That's the whole crux of the matter, I guess. It's funny how uh, it takes a second to adjust. Well, first of all, this vlog will be uh, the first diary of uh, a two bike man, because uh, this is one of the first times I'm riding this bike on purpose while getting the other one. And uh, there's a multi-fold of reasons as to why I'm trying to, uh, I'm doing that. First, it's a uh, truss ride, <laughs> you know? Last time uh, I rode this thing, I was in this exact corner right here talking about how I don't trust the bike how it's uh, been wonky and now I'm riding it again because it's awesome um, the foot controls are so much more tucked in and you're leaned over more it's interesting it's actually very interesting how this bike is so much more aggressive than my uh, my new new but that's to be uh, expected because these bars are lower and Come on, folks. Everybody get in there. Things are gonna be okay. Bro, we can make that light, you know? You're not gonna go for it? And now I don't have ABS, and I don't have any of the other fancy things that I don't even know if I'm using or not, you know? It's funny how uh, a person adjusts to new things because now I'm all like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. What, first of all, I don't even know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Because I don't even know what I'm talking about. But one of the things I did want to mention is uh, my grand plan to work on this bike, right? To take it apart to. Uh, to rebuild it. This is it. This is the place where last time, if you remember, the bike just died. Look how casual and calm I am on this thing. Well, it's also shitty. It actually snowed. Yeah, I don't know why I'm being so critical of myself. It literally snowed earlier today. It literally snowed, so there's no reason to really go bananas no matter what. open see on the other bike I'd be already like teleported to uh, places far away on this bike you gotta work for it I love it so yeah like I was wondering like I, I actually like you know I'm a little anxious anxious Ansley anxious Andy yeah anxious Andy and I literally like I'm like am I even smart enough to rebuild this bike I have a new motor and a wiring harness and a couple of other bits and I'm just wondering uh, if I have the fucking the mental fortitude to do it you know what I mean if I have the commitment if I have uh, everything so uh, what do you guys think how hard of a job is it to put in a new motor and a wiring harness? Seems a realistic job, right? Alright, let's split a little bit. It is surprisingly cold. It's like 36 degrees or something and uh, actually feels a lot colder because I think it's uh, also wet, you know what I mean? 
Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It's interesting. Uh, the switching between bikes will be weird just because uh, of the dimensions of the two. You know? Because, like, I'm, uh... They're a little bit different. Overall, though, the new bike is a fucking gem. I took it out for my first ride. First proper ride. Uh... Like two days ago. That was fucking great. That was fucking great. Look at me, creeping and crawling, inching my way up. Um, so yeah, I got all anxious about the rebuild. I'm just like, damn, like, I mean, this bike works. I can literally just do a major service, do belts and valves, and technically I don't need to rebuild it. Or do I? I don't know. Hard question. And then I got a couple of personal things I gotta settle. Uh, gotta write some emails. That's gonna be fine. It's not a big deal. Super interesting. The whole two bike thing, it was like inevitable, you know, it was like uh, a like yes, now this bike is working because the problem that I've been having is definitely solved. Uh, that specific, specific, specific problem. Are there other problems? Certainly. And when will they pop up? That's the question here. So the new bike is a fucking gem and that on the new bike I can just go far 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 and wide I should probably start getting over to the right because that's where I'm trying to go make sure it's super early bro are you changing lanes or what are you doing nice turn signal there champion I guess I could go through Dumbo for old time's sake, but I don't really want to just because uh, there's always so much construction, I can't even be bothered. And it's interesting, I don't even know what gear I'm in. On the new bike, it's a big part of the experience, knowing the full extent of your control. I wonder if uh, all of my 620 vlogs are now going to be like on the new bike, yada yada yada. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I could totally go around. It's going to be fine. Except for this part. This part is gross. It's going to be all right. To scratch my nose, god damn it. Bad place to scratch your nose, I guess. Plus, I didn't really want to ride the but the new bike is so shiny noon right now, and it was all wet this morning. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. Plus, I want to get some uh, vlogs on this bike before it, it does go under the knife. Because once it does, things will be different. Look at this nimble little thing. That's the construction trucks. <sighs> Recording. Oh, that's fantastic. So yeah, I'm kind of torn. I'm like, why am I coming up with this project? to uh, put a new motor into this. I guess that was always the plan. So that's why I kind of like, I'm sticking to it and whatnot. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We shall see. I'm just a little intimidated. I gotta look through uh, 
the shop manuals and such. It seems like such a straightforward job, but then it also seems tricky with all the little hoses and whatnot. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, maybe I'm not. So it's a weird it's a weird source of anxiety because it's like self self-inflicted and not that serious. Please tell me I can make it. Yes, I got it. Yeah. So it's all good. I'll just figure it out. Oh man, this bike. This bike is great. It's such a I, I see I'm right now going through like these conflicted things where this whole thing is a you know a Ducati collection, right? And I'm conflicted because now I have two bikes. Because I'm riding this bike and I'm like, what the hell is wrong with this bike? The bike is great. Let me see if I... Don't let, let me through here. Oh boy. Look at this fucking garbage and muck here. Cunt. Fucking hell. I don't want to fucking get my whole shit like disgusting. Oh boy. Is this uh, closed? It is closed. Alright, well. What are we doing? Guess we're going against uh, against traffic here. It's okay. That's gonna be okay. These streets are fucked. Let's see if I go down this way. If there's a place to park for this good old boy. What is the point of having two bikes if one of the bikes is too cool for school? Oh, look at that thing. This whole block is adorable. I forgot to where to even park around here. It's been so long. park back there by that mini but I'll come over here and swing by this area because there used to be good spots around here still possible that there still is there it is not a bad spot a little wet but not as bad as it can be right yeah I think it's fine All right, it's a weird place to back into because it's all wet and slippery and shitty, but we'll be all right. This is the soft stuff. All right. Maybe like this. There we go. Of course, of course, the bad guy will fucking gross. Look at this bike. It's a fucking machine. It's a machine, all right. I love it. Nice.
All right, kids. I'll talk to you soon, all right? Thank you for watching as always.